Gemini and welcome back to my channel and this is your reading for June 2021 and this is anything spiritual. Okay before we start Gemini I just want to quickly show you this book. This is coming out soon. I was hoping to get the link in the description below before this video comes out but um, I've been a bit slow in releasing this so um, you won't have this line on it when it comes, but it's a dad notebook. Um, I altered it slightly, which is why it's a bit slow now and coming out. Um, so there's something at the bottom of every page, and it says things like, simply the best, dad, you're awesome, thank you, dad, love heart. So a lovely, lovely gift for Father's Day. So that's a, a dad notebook. And um, if you're interested in that, come back and have a look in the description below or when the other videos are out, because hopefully the, the, it will be out soon, and I'll have that link there. Um, here is The Spirit Within. This is available on Amazon right now and me and my sister co-wrote this book and it's about um, spiritual development and my sister also has a channel called Mind's Eye and Inspiration. So if you're interested in that, um, again look in the uh, description below and I'll have a link there for you. Okay Gemini, I was asking what the month ahead holds for you and um, the Ace of Wands fell out. Now the Ace of Wands is about new opportunities, it's about new starts. It does also say to you, um, you know, don't rush them. So take your time, be careful. Um, and already we've got some more ones coming out there. Now ones are half there to do with creativity, um, they're to do with um, work. We've got loads of cups coming out here for you. Look at these, definitely a new start there. We've already said we've got the Ace of Wands come out. You've now got the Ace of Pentacles. They can be to do with like men mental and spiritual sort of situations as well. So the first card out for you, Gemini, is the Four of Swords now. The Four of Swords can be about like a resting period. It can be about, um, let's have that one that's kind of, oh, there's two there. So you've got the Hierophant and the Five of Wands. So this Four of Swords can be about resting. It can be if you've had an illness and you're getting over it and you're just in that resting period, like I say. So we've got that Four of Swords there. Now we know you've got a new opportunity. We know you've got a new start. And we said about don't rush things. So if you've not been feeling 100% and you've not been feeling yourself, Gemini, you don't want to be rushing things. Now we already knew that a wand card had come out and we've got the next two cards here. Look, we've got the Page of Wands and we've got the Four of Wands. So we do have stability coming up there for you with that Four of Wands. And the pages are often good messages and good news. So we've got good messages and good news, which is bringing you stability, okay? It's making you feel happier. It's making you feel calmer. And we've got that Queen of Cups there. And as I'm saying, it's making you feel happy. It's making you feel calmer. I'm looking at her and she's sitting there. The water's calmer. The water's clear. You're feeling a lot happier in yourself there, Gemini. You're looking forward to the future. You've already made plans in your mind. You're going to be taking the next steps. But we've already said you don't want to be rushing things. Okay, Gemini? You've got the three of cups. So you're going to be celebrating. You're going to be happy. You're going to be enjoying yourself. And we've already said new starts. We've got that ace of pentacles. Okay, again, it's about success, it's about signing documents. So, there's possibly um, some sort of uh, commitment that you're going to where sort of legal paperwork is going to come out. And we've got that here, I think, there. So, we get talking about legal documents, legal paperwork. We've got the here, I think, here. So, somebody's going to be helping you, somebody's going to be sorting that out. It may be a bit of a struggle. It may be we had this message in the beginning about don't rush things, Gemini. And it may be because there are things to sort out, okay? But this is 
the um your um transition now this is your judgment this is what you deserve this is coming for you this is rightfully yours gemini okay this is bringing you contentment this is bringing you success this is bringing you happiness this is bringing you the ten of cups you are just heading in a, such a, a, a lovely direction and everything you want is coming your way. So a really positive reading for you. Remember that new opportunities, success, don't rush things, okay? Now let's have a look. We've got a few more cards here. Now I've got, these are new this month. They are Guardian Angel cards and they are from Radley Valentine. So let's have a look, Gemini, which card's going to come out for you to go deeper into your reading. And then we're going to pull um, Angel and Saint guide cards. We've got Animal Oracle and we've got Love and Relationships. Now remember, if you enjoy these readings, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Now you've got the helper of action and it says you're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have the time. So get busy, follow your instincts and have fun. You or someone you meet will be very self-assured, capable and enthusiastic. You can do anything with a smile. So there you go, Gemini. It looks like you, it says you can do anything with a smile. So it looks like you're going to be winning people over in the month of June 2021, okay? And get in your own way. Remember, you've got somebody here helping you, possibly legal documents and things. Okay, so that card that's come out the top here, this is a guide card and you've got grace. So be graceful. Now this card here talked about smiling, so that's you. Smiling your way through the month, being graceful, just gliding along. Remember, you're in a happy mood. You've got that lovely, calm exterior going on. So you've got this lovely gracefulness about you, okay? And you're doing everything in style and grace this month, Gemini. So how lovely. And these are Angel and Saint cards. So we'll see what message they're going to give for you for the month of June 2021. So it looks a really positive reading. It looks like you've got the opportunities coming up for you. Stress management. Again, when we talked about smile, when we talked about being um, graceful, it's, it, this is telling you to just be in control of your emotions, okay? Now, we know you're going to be feeling a lot happier because we've got that card there that's telling you that everything's going to be feeling calmer, Gemini. Remember, this is like a resting period from you. We said that you know now is like a resting period. Yes, we know you've got this new start, but you're feeling more stable. You're looking ahead. Just go along. Take your time. Don't rush Take your time and just glide gracefully and manage your stress. Okay, Gemini. So don't feel that you have to rush it. Don't feel that you've got to make quick decisions. Don't feel that this has all got to be done in a rush. And these are animal oracle cards. And you've got crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. And you've also got the owl spirit. You see clearly now. So there you go. You're seeing clearly. You're seeing where you need to be going. Remember, we've got that three of wands, which is about you planning ahead for the future and co-create with spirit. Perhaps it's time for you to sort of link in with the spirit world, go with your instincts, use that natural ability that we all have, Gemini, okay? Now let's have a look at your love and relationships. Remember these are general readings. So for some of you, this reading may already have resonated in the love and relationship area. And for others, it may not. So we'll pull a couple of love and relationship cards. And uh, I know everybody loves to see what's going to happen in their love and relationships. And even for those of you who already are in a relationship, you still may want to know that a little bit more. And the first card out says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Well, again, we had that resting card there. We said it's time to rest and time to relax, time not to rush things. But even though you are moving forward, this is a transition period. You are moving forward in your life and taking steps, but you're doing it gracefully. You're doing it slowly. You're taking a rest and you're taking your time, Gemini. 
new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so for some of you who are single, um, this will be a new person um, who stirred your feelings. You may want to retreat and step back a bit and take your time before you rush into the relationship. For those of you who are in a relationship, this new love can be the person that you're already with. It can be a new spark in that relationship that you already have, okay? And perhaps you want to take some time off together. So some time together may be needed for you. Take a retreat with your loved one. Who knows? Okay, Gemini, so I hope you've enjoyed your reading and I hope it's resonated with you. And if you like the new cards, um, pop me a little comment in the description below. Remember the books, um, this will be coming out soon, the Dad Notebook. So keep your eye on the um, description. Come back if you're interested in that or have a look on Amazon. I have got my author page on the home section of my channel. So you can always come back and check the uh, author page. And as soon as it's live, it will be up on there. And the Spirit Within book is already out and my sister's channel in the description below as well so lots going on Gemini you've got a really positive month you've got things coming up for you you've got new starts new opportunities take your time remember to have a rest and you've got that new love coming in there in your relationship okay thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon